States with large energy sectors are driving the recovery and can fast-tracking foreclosure legal proceedings save states millions. Coming up on Monday's News Wrap. Nationwide, the economy and housing market are functioning at a level about 87% of their pre-crisis levels, according to the National Association of Home Builders Leading Markets Index. 59 of 350 metro markets are at or above their pre-crisis norms, up from 58 metro markets last month. 130 markets are at levels of at least 90% of their pre-crisis levels, according to the NAHB, Around 45% of normalized markets are located in areas benefiting from strong employment in the energy sector. David Crow, chief economist at the NAHB, suggests that the strong energy sector in Texas, Louisiana, North Dakota, and Wyoming is at the forefront of the recovery. Eight of the top 10 markets in the NAHB's index are located in these four states, and unemployment statistics support the NAHB's findings. Texas's unemployment rate is 6%, Wyoming's is 4.4%, and North Dakota's unemployment is at a paltry 2.7%, according to the data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. A study of two states released by the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland suggests that fast-tracking foreclosures on vacant properties could provide states with substantial savings. Fast-tracking the properties would prevent damage to vacant homes, which is costly to repair and brings down the surrounding home values. The study reports that Ohio could have saved between $24 and $129 million in 2012, while Pennsylvania could have saved between $24 and $54 million by fast-tracking properties through the judicial system. You can find more on these stories and all your latest industry headlines right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.